Whether you are willing to admit it or not, it is an indisputable fact that China's desert control projects have benefited the world. Did you know that China is carrying out a total investment of 7 billion yuan and is known as the Underground Granary Desert Super Project? Someone may ask, with a total investment of 7 billion yuan, how much grain does China want to store? In fact, this project is not really in the storage of food. So, what are they storing? Moreover, in response to land desertification, China has built a large reservoir in the middle of the desert. However, the United States not only made criticisms at this project but even tried to stop the project. So, what kind of project is this that has made the United States so angry? Okay, in today's video, we are going to take a look at China's huge reservoir in desert and the underground granary in desert. Let's get started. As we all know, if the problem of land desertification is ignored, it may bring catastrophic consequences. What is even more unfortunate is that China is a country with severe desertification. The desertified land area is as high as 2.6116 million square kilometers, accounting for nearly 27% of the country's land area, and this proportion has continued to expand in recent years. So China started to build a desert reservoir to deal with it, but unexpectedly it attracted a lot of criticism from the United States. Why is this? Due to years of drought and little rainfall, the northwest region of China has become a major concentration of land desertification. The loss of cultivated land has also caused many local residents to lose their livelihood security. In order to curb the continued desertification of the region, China has decided to build the largest desert reservoir in Asia, the Hangyashin Reservoir, in the northeastern part of the Hushi Corridor. Once the reservoir is built, it can not only meet the needs of local people's livelihood, but also take into account the comprehensive improvement of irrigation, desertification, and flood control. However, at that time, this project was not favored because of its huge difficulty. Among the opposition, the most prominent one was the United States. In order to smear China's water conservancy project, they claimed that the construction of the reservoir affected the local ecological balance because of the nonsense that the desert is also a part of nature and cannot be transformed at will. They tried to force China to stop work through public opinion pressure, began to claim that the natural environment had been destroyed around the world, and collected a series of so-called evidence such as a series of natural disasters such as sudden snowfall in tropical Brazil, record-breaking temperature in the continental United States, and flash floods in the Himalayas. Besides, they believe that China doesn't have the ability to build such a large reservoir in the desert. It is true that such a complex and large-scale project is indeed a big challenge to China, but the Americans still underestimate the wisdom and determination of China's infrastructure workers. So, how was this huge reservoir built? China at that time could not provide much heavy construction machinery and could only mobilize a large number of local people to excavate with hand tools. For the sake of a happy life in the future, the local people brought their own tools and daily food and built the dam of the reservoir bit by bit with their own hands and sweat. In the end, it took eight years for the Hangyashin Reservoir to be fully completed. The completion of this reservoir has completely changed the backward situation of the local area. After the introduction of external water sources and accumulation in the reservoir, the local area has a convenient self-irrigation water source and the water from the reservoir can be introduced into the farmland for irrigation. Although the scale of Hangyashin Reservoir is not the largest reservoir built in China, it carries the water demand of 250,000 people. The construction of the reservoir not only improves the problem of land desertification, but also improves the livelihood of the surrounding residents. At present, all functions of the reservoir are normal after the completion, and auxiliary industries such as tourism and vacation have also been developed. The living of the residents around the reservoir is not only guaranteed, but also the economy has grown to a certain extent. 
Now China has invested in the construction of water transfer projects in the local area, allowing people to use convenient tap water. Nowadays, the role of the Hangyashin Reservoir in the local economic development has not been as necessary as before, but this reservoir has become a symbol of Chinese people's hard work. It has been rated as a national natural scenic spot and a national reservoir scenic spot by China, and has also been awarded the title of Pearl of the Desert. Every year, thousands of tourists come to visit and are moved by the hard work spirit of the Chinese people. Now let's take a look at China's desert underground granaries. At the beginning of the video, we mentioned that what is stored in it is not real food. In fact, it is the underground gas storage that China built in Xinjiang. Why are gas storages called underground granaries? What is the significance of this gas storage to China? Official data shows that China has a total of 384,000 cubic meters of natural gas and 13.2 trillion cubic meters of proven natural gas geological reserves. However, both the total consumption and the proportion of natural gas in the energy consumption structure are not satisfactory. In addition, from the perspective of geographical features and resource distribution, China's natural gas resources are more in the west and less in the east. Natural gas resources in the central and western regions account for 60 to 70 percent of both total and proven reserves, while natural gas resources in the southeast coast account for only 7 percent. The natural gas resources in the western region are more abundant, but the consumption is less. The eastern region consumes a lot, but does not have much reserves. Therefore, the construction of underground gas storage in the west is imperative. In order to rationally allocate natural gas resources, China began to build natural gas underground gas storages in the 1970s. Unlike oil and coal, natural gas can be stored there without mining. Once natural gas is exploited, it will leak out continuously, and if it is not stored in time, it will be wasted. For long-term development, China has decided to build an underground gas storage in Xinjiang. Because natural gas is especially important for national development, the Chinese call it the underground granary. Underground gas storage is simply a natural gas storage tank built underground. The commercial natural gas delivered by the long-distance pipeline is re-injected into the underground space, so that an artificial gas field is formed in a fixed area. Compared with the spherical tank on the ground, this storage method not only has large storage capacity, strong mobility, and a wide range of peak shaving, but also has a low storage price and is durable. Compared with ground facilities, it is also safer. In 2020, China has invested nearly 7 billion yuan to start the construction of the first underground gas storage group in the West. After this key project is completed, an unprecedented natural gas underground granary will be born under the desert in the Northwest. This is the first underground gas storage group in the West, the Wenjiasang Underground Gas Storage in Tuha Oil Field, Shanshan County, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. In general, this project can not only effectively regulate natural gas resources in China and solve the problem of resource allocation, but also increase employment in the Western region and improve the living standards of the people in the Western region. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you.